at Pirates Press in San Francisco, California, and we're going to talk to some very cool people about the Transmetropolitan Art Book. So let's go inside. Like I said before, we're here at Pirates Press. I'm here with Derek Robertson, the artist of Transmetropolitan, and Chunk Kelly, the production manager for Transmetropolitan Art Book, and of course, Mr. Sam Harris, the layout designer. So guys, thank you so much for, it. well, first of all, inviting me to uh, your wonderful space. This is really, really cool. But also to talk about this, this awesome book. So it's been 10 years since Transmetropolitan came out. So why, why are you guys releasing this book? It was a great idea to help with uh, the charity uh, the comics charities that could use uh, some assistance and an opportunity for the fans of Transmetropolitan to also contribute their vision and their enthusiasm uh, for the following that the book has seemed to maintain even though it's been gone for a while it still seems very present in people's consciousness and there are people that are just discovering it now and so it seemed like a good cause and a good idea. Yeah. So if a Transmetropolitan fan wants to get their hands on this really, really cool book, how, how do they go about doing that? Well, apparently that's where Kickstarter comes in, that you can go to the site and pre-order the book. And if you do, you can check out an exclusive preview. And if you are a fan, you're not going to be disappointed. This is uh, coming together to be such a beautiful package that uh, it's going to be worth the pre-order just to see what the final product is. So as of right now, we've got $18,200 of the twenty six thousand dollars total that you guys need to actually publish this book um, so the only way to do that is through Kickstarter right basically it's a, a way to get the funds to make something like this to cover the, the basic cost you know like our cost of printing it here and uh, whatnot and people can go and donate it however much money they want and there's certain different things you can get for that donation mm -hmm. or you can choose to not get anything just just the book or whatever and it's uh, it'll build up enough of a following for it that we can afford to print it and then get it out to everybody. If we can reach that goal of 26,000, then all those pre-ordered books will go into the waiting hands of the fans that have already donated, and that's the best way to get it out there. And a lot of people are going to benefit from the selling of this book, so it's a win-win. Mm -hmm. Fans get a brand new, awesome package, and the charities benefit from it. And if it doesn't get published, you get to keep your money. Yeah, you get. It's, it's, there's no risk. And Warren Ellis is also doing the uh, forward for the book, right? Yes, both Warren and I were approached as a uh, as contributors. Um, it's uh, I did some cover art for it, and uh, Warren has offered to do an introduction. So it's the closest thing we'll have to a transmetropolitan reunion. Mm -hmm. I think this is fantastic, and the really cool thing about it is that you've got an array of different artists actually. Uh, working on the book so yeah. it, it's not just your art I mean you are no. doing you're doing the cover the yeah. back cover and, and there's an interior piece as well yeah. okay uh, Stephanie Buscema uh, did a beautiful piece and, and it's so stylized that it's interesting to see the different artists bring their own interpretations because it really is a labor of love there's a lot of freedom and, and expressiveness in the art pieces I've seen so why why create a book like this for charity? I mean, I know, you know, but I yeah. think they just need to hear it. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think people um, in the broad scope of things understand how, what a small uh, industry we really are in the big picture. And there's so many people that have contributed to comics and the zeitgeist of comics that are now aging and they don't get the recognition they deserve. They don't have the the resources to keep going once they can't draw or write anymore and that alone and that's where the here initiative steps in uh, with the comic book legal defense fund it's they're protecting the rights of people like me to put out controversial material because so many people in the general public still believe that comic books are if it's illustrated with words well then it must be for a child and so if you do challenging content uh, that's designed for a mature reader then they're going to be Somehow you're trying to foist something bad upon children like the specter of Frederick Wortham comes screaming down the hallways. And these different charities, they really f try to function on donations. And so by creating a book that kind of wouldn't exist if it weren't for somebody like the CDE, LDF, uh, it, it seems like a good way of giving back. 
So tell me a little bit about some of the artists that are actually contributing to this. And I know this isn't going to be like a rehash of Transmetropolitan. This is a brand new take on that book and uh, the central character, right? Yeah, well, actually, it's, it's actually avoiding the central character in a lot of ways. The only pieces that uh, I believe that are in it that are of directly Spider are mine. Uh, but everybody else was sort of given the directive of and the opportunity to sort of go into the, the surrounding cast and the surrounding world that makes up the texture of that whole book and that experience, things that, you know, the city and the background, background people, Vita Severin and Fred Christ and these other characters that kind of made that tapestry um, what that book was. It wasn't so Spider was the lone weirdo. There were so many interesting characters around Spider that he bounced off of that uh, Warren and I had a great time creating within that world. Mm -hmm. So it's a chance for other artists to come in and, and interpret that world for themselves. Why did you go to these guys? You know, what, what, why the indie publisher? Well, we, uh, we make records, obviously, as you can see from the room. One day I was looking at a record booklet and was like, why can't we make comic books? Mm -hmm. And Sam and I are both big comic fans, as are a handful of other pirates. And uh, our friend Tem Ben Templesmith came to us saying, I want to make a book. And we'd done business cards with Derek and Ben and stuff like that. And we're like, well, we can make a book. Let's do it. And this was our first try. We did the Squid Girls book. And it, it turned out really nice. When this idea came up, we were like, we could totally help with that. And uh, it's just something fun that we'd like to be able to help make, you know? This is a really gorgeous book, by the way. Thanks. So, very, very cool. cool. Props Thanks. to you guys. Um, Sam, I actually have a question for you. Uh, so, as a layout designer, you know, what is it like putting all of these different pieces by different artists together? And uh, do you have a favorite? As of yet, uh, we've had about 20 different artists uh, submit so far. It's about 25 pieces of artwork. Uh, there are a couple favorites. I have a um, piece by Edmund Bagwell, which looks great. A piece by Steph was fantastic yeah. as well. There's, and really, it's, it's great to see the book that's so diverse and in, in content, because as Derek said, it's not just a book that's just page after page of spider which like spider pinups which you know wouldn't wouldn't be that great it's it's really just a hugely like rich just diverse book of many different characters and, and many different styles of art, artists and art which is which is great i really hope that we do get to see this book and if you contribute you can go to kickstarter and we'll add the uh, address the um, web address right below where I'm pointing right now. And so you guys can definitely go there and uh, submit some of your hard-earned cash to these guys so they can actually get this book published and you will receive a copy of the Transmetropolitan Art Book. So thank you guys for taking the time to talk to Comic Vine today and I really, really look forward to seeing the book because I have donated a couple of my bucks. <laughs> so, Good to hear. So, uh, so, well. <laughs> so thank you very much and uh, best of luck to you. Thank you.